G'day everyone, Uncle Jojo, great to see you all again. Today I've got a review for you guys. It's on a Sigma tile cutter. They're made in Italy, love a good European made tool. Um, this is my tile cutter. I've had this for about 18 years, made in Japan, never given me any problems. You can obviously see it's had a bit of wear and tear. Um, arm swing on it, great system. It's got a rubber base on it as well, doesn't mark any porcelain tiles or things like that. Fantastic tile cutter. Cost me around about 400 bucks when I first got it. That's about eight, 18 years ago. Today, the Sigma, made in Italy. It's a fantastic system. It's given me a 600 long tile cutter and then I've also got a guide on it. So let's take a bit of a tour and have a look and see how this goes. Here we've got the angle cut. You can adjust that really easily to cut whatever angle you want to do you've got your angles right there so if i want to cut a 45 there we are there and we just tighten that up doesn't move put our tile in there it's perfect here is our length so we can just adjust that to whichever length we want to and that just slides across so if we wanted to do a 150 cut on a 45 easy done perfect I've had this for about four days, so I'm gonna keep working with it till we finish this bathroom. Um, my Tyler swears by Sigma, he loves them, but he's also got three other cutters as well. Depends on what he's cutting, will depend on the cutter that he uses. The thing I like the most is actually that it's got a ball bearing in here, and that the ball bearing runs on that guide for a really smooth cutting edge. I'll show you what I mean in a second, I'll cut a tile for you, but it's a very nice system. The only weak point that I can see, it's not too bad for weight, it's pretty damn good. It's a little bit bulky, the way that it'd be nice if it folded up a little bit more and you could slip something, maybe even just a clip or something on the side, so this would get it clipped in the side, better for transporting and without um, knocking things. Although, you can unscrew that pretty easy and pull the whole thing apart and pull it apart, but when things start to get pulled apart and they don't have a container to go into, then you start losing your bits and pieces. The other thing I'm not a big fan about is this plate. Uh, it's a separate cost to get a rubber mat for the base of this. Um, this is a pretty good base, don't get me wrong, but a rubber mat would just help those tiles to sit a little bit better and to probably break a bit smoother. So I need to cut a tile at 300. I'll show you how we do that. We just move our guide really easily. And we just move that to our 300 mark and then tighten it off. Easy, even one handed. And I did that with my left hand. 300 long, sits against that back edge really nicely. And there we have it a perfect 300mm cut. After eight days of use, I can give you my scores. For weight, I give it 7.5 out of 10 nails. For usability, I give it a 9.5. Those ball bearing systems are unreal. Smooth, easy to use. It just needs those rubber mats to stop those tiles from moving too much. And for portability, I give it a eight stars. It's really good, it's, it's easy to move about, but it really needs to be a little bit more compact and it needs to be able to hold itself whether that be a clip for the, the straight edge or whether that be not actually detach it. As soon as things start to get divided up, then we start to lose our bits and pieces. All in all, an average of 8.5 stars. Thank you very much, Sigma. Double thumbs up, great system. Anybody else got any reviews for me? Flick them over, happy to take a look for you. Till then, thanks for watching and stay awesome.